Featured within the terminology leading practices stream of the expo, I'm pleased to welcome from New Zealand, Alistair Kenworthy, uh, and Alistair's presenting SNOMED CT tooling for the 20s. In this presentation, Alistair will explore a SNOMED CT world that intertwines both terminology as well as tooling. Sharing New Zealand's account of how SNOMED CT tools are making implementation and use easier, Alistair will explore the future of SNOMED CT tooling with us. In his role as Chief Standards Advisor with the Ministry of Health, Alistair leads the development and adoption, adoption of data and digital standards for New Zealand's health and disability system. Alistair is New Zealand's representative to SNOMED International and the current chair of the organization's member forum. Um, I encourage attendees to submit their questions throughout the presentation, the answers to which will be moderated once the session concludes. So Alistair, I'd like to welcome you to the virtual stage. Thank you, Kelly. Hello, hola, ahoy, kia ora, salamat pagi, and g'day. As Kelly has said, I'm Alistair Kenworthy, the SNOMED International General Assembly representative for New Zealand, and also lucky enough to be the current member forum chair, and I'm a sometime party to SNOMED International's tool and user advisory group. So thank you for joining my uh, talk, virtual though it is, on SNOMED CT tooling for the 20s. This is the Chrysler building in New York. It's acknowledged as a masterpiece of form and function. The building wasn't actually completed until 1930, but its design is still very much a product of the 1920s. So we won't this, let this little detail spoil the story. My talk today is about form and function in the software tools that exist to support the creation and use of the SNOMED CT terminology. 10 years ago, SNOMED CT sat apart from the tools available at that time. The sophistication of the terminology was many kilometres ahead of the tools used to build the terminology and put it into users' hands. Today, by contrast, there are many third-party tools available and SNOMED International's own tools have transformed the whole experience of distribution to add real polish to SNOMED CT. In the 2020s, however, the success of the terminology and the tools around it will be even more intertwined than we've seen in the past. We're going to need to explore new directions and reach out to other technology communities if we're to have the tools to make the SNOMED user experience the very best possible. So the 2020s must be a decade of innovation, a decade of innovation in the tooling that we use around SNOMED CT. The decade ahead, we'll see an evolution of many of the current tools, which are excellent, but we'll need to introduce some very new technologies and approaches if we're to be successful in the way that we need to be. For each of the years in front of us, I'm going to be giving you one idea of where we need to go with the tooling and the difference that I think that it will make. Snowbeat International's new five-year strategy, just recently published this year, has the vision that by 2025, clinical terminologies will be used globally, which will result in better health and improved patient outcomes, supported by one language of health. And that's effectively the value proposition for SNOMED CT. The strategy has products and services goals, adoption goals, and an innovation goal. SNOMED will be at the center of terminology and classification globally. It's just, we are describing it as a terminology integrator. It's the hub between the other terminologies that exist out there. It's the common language. SNOMED is there to be adopted and consumed by users around the world. And that is really our challenge to get consumption of the terminology. So the 20, uh, the five year strategy requires the products terminant terminology and tools to be approachable. And that's a word from the strategy document, which is well worth a read. 
So what sort of a start have we made to this decade of innovation that I'm promising you? Resplendent in red, the overnight sensation of this guide to COVID-19 data coding using SNOMED CT showed just how quickly an idea can be turned into action when there's a pressing need. Member Forum representatives met by Zoom early in the pandemic to consider the SNOMED content and materials they could use in their respective um, nations' responses to the pandemic. The idea percolated up that an implementation guide, not only for the core concepts around representing COVID itself and the tests, but all of the peripheral administrative and clinical data that we need to capture a good view of um, the, the patient's condition, surveillance, contact tracing, capturing that information and understanding how to do that using SNOMED. So very soon, and this is a credit to the organisation and its responsiveness, we had a resource, an implementation guide that all members could use and adapt for their own purposes. And I know many members were able to do that. So our first tool is the Humble Implementation Guide. Members would like more of these, please. They are the crowdsourced crowd pleasers that answer the question of not only the concept, but the context too. They're not just about the content of SNOMED CT, but how to apply it. So this is of terrific value to members. In New Zealand, our Ministry of Health has just published an interoperability roadmap subtitled Accelerating the Shift to a Fully Interoperable Digital Health Ecosystem. One of its central themes is using the same languages. In this respect, SNOMED CT is singled out as our principal standard for terminology and more important than any other standard or product to interoperability. SNOMED's use is mandated in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and we are committed to making it happen. The theme of using the same languages with SNOMED goes hand in hand with our other essentials for a fully interoperable health ecosystem. You can see from the graphic what these are, connecting and identifying, unblocking access to data, and enabling joined up services. Other member countries will have similar things. So my second proposal for tooling is a focus on support for national programs and ecosystems like yours and mine. We all need the terminology and the tools to build a digitally enabled and data-driven health system in our own parts of the world. As much as this means thinking about the patient experience and the clinician's joy at work, the quadruple aim as we're calling it, it means the tools that will power a data-driven system. Going back to my introduction, these are some greetings you might have heard at a previous SNOMED Expo. These are the ones in my recent experience anyhow. SNOMED is natively an English language terminology and English speaking nations should consider themselves very lucky to be in the position of having SNOMED as the principal language. People in other countries must work very hard and I've seen them doing it on translations to get themselves anywhere near the same level of functionality. And some countries have even more than one language that they need to support at a national level. Translation is largely a manual process and it does not come cheap. But member nations are all equal around the SNOMED table and I believe we can do much better for everyone. New technology that we would expect to see emerging in this decade will enable us to automate translation and make multilingual support within SNOMED a distinguishing feature and something that sets us apart from other products. So this is my third wish, if you like, that SNOMED can become a truly multilingual terminology and the 20s will deliver the technology to achieve this, I promise you. 
Language harmony has another aspect. Heart bypass surgery, stretched heart muscle, wear and tear of joints. These are not your usual SNOMED terms, expertly curated, curated by the terminologists and authors. They're patient-friendly terms in New Zealand, where we also call them consumer-friendly terms. We have exactly 158 of them for the very most common medical conditions and interventions. 316 of them, if you count the equivalents in Te Reo Māori, our indigenous language. Not everyone agrees, but consumer-friendly terms must have a place in SNOMED alongside the clinical terms. Others around the world are experimenting with consumer-friendly terms, but again, it's going to be a deft blend of terminology and tools that allows us to support consumer-friendly terms. So we can all be happy when the terminology and the tools support these things. We're starting to see SNOMED being built into advanced clinical documentation and clinical decision support software, but I'd like to see this one very simple tool that I'm going to describe. I'll call it a pop-up SNOMED mini browser, a technical term there, that provides a hover over or mouse over function if I'm browsing through clinical documentation. I know this must be very doable, but could it be done, please? so that developers have the pre-built gadgets, widgets, and backend services to get this sort of functionality into their own browsers and apps. I want to be able to hover over a term and see a description and explanation of it. Snowbed International's UI demo is a really nice start of how to, of showing a user interface that is Snowbed enabled, but how about doing a little bit more to create more tools and UI elements that people can use. I don't know, I'll give you an example. Um, perhaps we could have the component tree to build a branching logic chatbot that captures a consumer's medical history. So UI widgets, I'm going to call it for building advanced SNOMED enabled applications is my next wish. In fact, we need a terminology server to help us with the previous example. You may be familiar with Snowstorm, the free and open source terminology server for SNOMED International. It's production grade, highly performant, fire friendly, and it's also pocket friendly, being a free and open source product. All you need to do is spin it up and run it on your favorite cloud platform. So Snowstorm underpins the SNOMED International Browser and the authoring platform. If you're a user of a managed service, you'll be familiar with this, um, that are all from the SNOMED International product family. And members are proud to have supported their development, these tools development with membership funding and fees. So we need to keep investing in the terminology server technology. It's a core technology for the 20s and a tool for the vision of global terminology as a service. Snowstorm's own underpinnings are provided by the free and open source Elasticsearch search engine. Open source may not be everybody's cup of tea, but it's the right choice for tools that need to be widely and adopted into different environments around the world. Prioritization of free and open source software is even a government policy in some countries. So the message is to keep it open source, to keep using the very best building blocks available and to innovate off them. For my next tool, let's see what we can make of this. We've all seen diagnostic reports. They're so near, but they're so far too. Semi-structured is the word, somewhere between order and chaos, somewhere between a signal and a noise. To address this situation, which many clinicians admittedly are very happy to live with, perhaps not so much their patients who want data, who want graphs, trends, insights and rewards on their phones and on their watches. Um, we, we could create Structured forms, SNOMED enabled, or alternatively, we can turn to natural language processing. And you were probably waiting for me to say this. 
while NLP has many possible applications in connection with SNOMED CT. The technology hasn't reached the mass market in healthcare yet, or not in a way that properly involves SNOMED. So this is a tremendous area for opportunity in tooling. Uh, NLP will drive many, many things in the 20s. And if we're going to invest in one piece of technology, it has to be this one. We're told that medical knowledge doubles every few months. It grows exponentially. SNOMED needs to keep up with this pace and a team of paid people working for a single organisation or a network of organisation, organisations can never hope to keep pace with this. Our content request process is rightly geared to ensuring quality, but it will be too slow in the 20s. We're moving to continuous releases and distributed authoring under the new five-year strategy, but we also need to move to automated authoring. This means creating the tooling for a terminology production line that can directly process research papers, clinical data, any forms of evidence. And I can't envisage them all. The terminology won't grow without bounds itself, but it will need to be continuously refined as knowledge grows. Content authoring can shift from being a labour intensive process to one that's mostly automated. With SNOMED as the terminology integrator, we can also look at the development of automated mapping software and tools that convert other terminologies to SNOMED, which we're starting to see. So automated authoring will set SNOMED apart. I really owe this next idea to Netherlands representative Tim Volkert and was reminded of it more recently by Cicero's Dr. Hua No, who presented in the SNOMED Research webinar series on the prospects for an open clinical terminology in some sort of harmony with Wikipedia. The connection with Wikipedia could be as modest as a link from the article on the Wikipedia page to the entry in the SNOMED, to the entry for the SNOMED concept in the SNOMED browser. Or it could be a rela closer relationship between the wiki and the terminology, or even a merger of the two, and I'm not sure what that would look like. There's risk, uh, but also plenty to gain from giving it this degree of openness. The global patient set of SNOMED concepts and terms has shown the value of making a portion of the terminology more open to, know, to enable our world leading terminology to take its place as an integral part of a global standard set. But the term, terminology could be even more open still. However far we go, we'll need new public facing tools that make it easy to contribute to SNOMED, curate it, and disseminate content. The Global Patient Set is published under a Creative Commons International 4.0 attribution license. This license allows the user to share, copy, and redistribute the content in any format and adapt, remix, or transform the content, including for commercial purposes. These are really liberating license terms for developers who then have a free hand to build tools and apps that have SMED inside. However much openness we decide to have in the product, we need to think about the tools that will give SNOMED a truly public face. We've seen from SNOMED International's Charles Gutteridge and Peter Hendler the promise that SNOMED holds for data analytics. They use expression constraint language queries to define cohorts of patients and ask all sorts of questions of the data. And I hope you've seen their video. But the polyhierarchical structure that makes SNOMED so good as a terminology with subtle contrasts and shades of meaning can make life very difficult for data analysts. Kylan Loy at Cicero has shown in previous talks how the madness of the multi-hierarchy can be tamed and made sense of in schemas for data analysis. This can't be a hand-waving exercise anymore, and we're all familiar with those. We need tools that support the new techniques for data analytics. So my second to last wish here 
is for those tools that are as adept with hierarchies as the authoring tools and the experts are already. FAIR data is data that is findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. I have Dr. Ronald Cornett at the University of Amsterdam to thank me, to thank for alerting me to FAIR data and its four principles. The FAIR concept came from the scientific research community originally, but it can be applied more generally to knowledge representation, open access and remix of data. GoFAIR is the bottom-up, stakeholder-driven and self-governed self initiative that is all about implementing the FAIR data principles and networks are starting to spring up around the world. I see this fully in harmony with um, the operation of SNOMED International. SNOMED will provide meaning to clinical data sets in a way that we haven't seen previously over the course of the decade and we're going to need the tools to fully, ex fully exploit it. FAIR is going to be part of that. OHDSI, Odyssey, Observational Health Data Sciences and Informatics is a, another closely related initiative that I'd throw into the mix. So a happy relationship with FAIR, and I've said FAIR, not FIRE, but there's a close relationship there already, is my last wish requiring tools that address metadata, remix and reuse of the valuable SNOMED data assets that will power our health systems in the 20s, that will leave us with a system in 2030 that is SNOMED based for a common language of healthcare and produces all sorts of benefits for our health systems and societies as a result. To close, the decade of the 20s promises much for SNOMED CT and its global adoption and consumption. And we'll have to, to do this, we have to back the terminology and the tools. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alistair, for that very engaging look into your SNOMED CT tooling wish list. Um, I'm sure that others would like to comment on your list, perhaps, or even suggest wishes of their own. So um, let's move on to the audience for questions. What I will ask is that the attendees in the room right now give us a moment while we switch over from our pre-recorded content so that Alistair can address the live qu questions that you've been 